is up beautiful people welcome once again to h and clothings and in today's video we are going to be concluding the first part of this um tutorial we're going to be doing the lower part of our gown yes and we have lots of tool lots of satin to be able to accomplish that and if you want to see how the lower part of this gown was made please do keep on watching also thank you so much for the love on the previous video turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss out on all this important series okay and yeah thank you so much for those contacting me i'm sure you're getting value already i trust you okay let us dive right into this video so i have 10 yards of tool here that i'm going to be using to create this um bottom part of the dress and i have my satin fabric that will be for the circle um skirt at the pot bottom part of this gown it's a gown okay anything below your knee is a gown so we have the satin for the lower part of the gown and yes first off first is first off is to cut the circle um skirt for the lower part of the gown then i'll tell you how we're going to go ahead to create these ruffles for the upper part all right guys i don't know if you can remember this uh, skirt pattern from our circle skirt tutorial i'm still using the same pattern i just used the um, paper tape to hold all those plates i slashed through down so that i can reuse it okay that's one good thing about patterns you can always reuse it don't throw them away keep them you will reuse it instead of cutting your paper over and over again so now because of this circle skirt we're doing i'm not going to be doing a very full one i'll just be cutting right through the middle so i'll just divide it into two and cut right through this middle for this particular skirt so i'm slashing and spreading it this way not very full and i'll do the same for the back regardless i have this there is no problem another thing that you need to do is measure your dress line my dress length is 35 inches okay and for your whole gown what's the full length of your gown the full length of my gown is 54 55 inches so if I subtract 35 from 55 inches, my that bottom part of the dress should be approximately 20 inches. That's what that lower part of the skirt should be, 20 inches long. And let's just measure what I have here. For the front, for this front, from here to here, I have about um, 17 and a half inches or 18 inches here. So what I'll just do is on the um, circle skirt pattern, I'll just add like three inches extra so that one inch will be for the hem. And for the back, because I want that fish tail effect at the back, I'm going to add like 10 inches extra for the back, okay? Just add to it. So I'm going to show you how to fold it so that you get your um, maximum what you want. You're going to be folding it diagonally this way like as in a triangle so fold it as in a triangle like this i just took one corner up and folded it now i'm going to take my front skirt pattern like so the um center back should be along this part and i'm going to position it such that the part of this this part should actually fit into um that part so like the waistline should align okay so this one is like a half skirt pattern the waistline should align okay so it shouldn't be much more you can leave maybe allowance to sew i think i'll leave it this way and i'll just pin it down then measure what i need to measure at the bottom So now I'm going to start from this center front here. The center front should be on fold and that's where the fold is. So I'll start from there. Remember that the skirt should be 20 inches. Then I'll add just two inches extra for the sewing allowance. So I'll just measure 22 inches round. Let's do that quickly. Let's 
remember this place don't cut corners just let it be curved just like this one See? so this will be the circle scale for the front this is like a half circle and i'll quickly do the back so for the back again go and pick another corner so just pick it pick it this way so this is the corner look for straight lines corner don't use a cut one okay then you take your back so this one you are bypassing all those pesky calculations at the back and yes put it this way make sure that that upper part aligns your center back now for the back circle sketch remember that you don't even need a zipper line at the back that part doesn't concern you and even this part that comes in like a pencil you don't need that circle skirts are just join the side seems to be straight so now i'm going to be measuring our front on the side seam was 22 inches so that means on the side seam at the back to here from here i'm going to measure 22 inches so that the front and back aligns i'll measure 22 inches up onto that this point here 22 yeah i'll just do 21 and a half 22 and a half then at this midpoint i'll start let's come here first to do this part so for this part i want that to be like a fish kind fish tail kind of effect so to that 22 inches i'll just add only five inches extra only only five inches extra so from there i should just be pivoting it I'll, do, I'll just pivot it so that um, it aligns up together I'll just make sure that it's following that line so I'm doing from here I did 27, 26 and a half, 26, 25 you see how you pivot it use your eye and just look at it until you have a very smooth circle at the bottom without curves without um, corners and you don't need to split that part open this part will go into the side seams for both the front and back and you see it doesn't match up that will be the tail if you want your tail to be longer please apply the same idea now I've taken my tool I have a whole 10 yards to cut through I folded it into four and i'm sure if you're familiar with um buying things in lagos market or something you see that um unlike some other people that it's already pre-rolled and you can easily cut this one is like just measured and scattered already so you have to be calm arrange properly and all so we're going to cut square like shapes six by six inches or five by five inches square like shapes so I fold it into four and I'm going to fold it again so that it's going to be easy to cut through into three not two. I think this one is better. So fold it into four then that four you now fold it on itself like this like what i did so here is a um, five and a half so i'll just do five and a half by trim this part so it's equal but the truth is sometimes even though those uneven things can make it be like a style design and look lovely okay so okay let's do five by five then Five by five. Okay.
so that's what you want to do so you have just one one piece like this <laughs> it's a lot of work go. all right guys so we are through cutting all of this you can see how much they are okay i did five by five inches if you feel this would be too tiny for you please just go ahead to do the size that you feel will be okay okay so this is a lot of work guys a lot of work and i'm doing it all because of you guys okay and this is my skirt patterns that's for the circle skirts you see that we were able to bypass all those calculations this one now i will not throw it away i'll keep it just in case we may need it again i'll just keep this and this one too So I'll just be taking um, front and back, matching it up, front sides to front side. I hope you can see how that is. And I'm sure you can see that it was a good idea doing this, okay? So you see the side seems match up on both sides and the back has that fish effect. So I'll sew this close, sew this close hem round the ends of this circle skirt do a road hem then we will now start working on this okay So guys, we have made the bottom part of this gown, that's the skirt and because of that zipper line that was there, we have extra um, at this, <clears throat> we have extra at this knee length, it's fine because what you just need to do is just pleat it to add extra fullness, okay? Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking all the square shape um, tool that we cut and pinch it just at the middle you can double it or make it single you have two options either you do this you sew it up in one single line or you just be doing it on the fabric like so i think me i'll just sew it up in one single line first of all before i now start arranging it on the fabric okay so let's keep that skirt pattern and so what you do basically is so what you do basically is just take pinch and sew it up pinch it in the middle like so to form a corner then just sew it up there so until you have one straight line so you keep doing this for all So guys, this is what I have. So you can see that each of it is held together by a string, like so. So what I'm going to do now is take one, one of these ones that I've got, I take my skirt piece and I'll start pinning from the bottom, like so. So from here, from the edge of this hem. I'll put it like this and sew it down 
sew it all the way round 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 so once i'm done with one layer going around i'll just give it like a space I, i'll use my eyes to space it more like um not leave too much space in between i don't want to say two inches or one and a half you can do one one inch spacing just do the spacing where they can't figure out what is happening at the bottom part of the dress okay it's you that just did the sewing that will know oh this is what is going on so let me show you how we're going to go about that so just take your um netting let this thing face down you can move it up a little to maybe like half inch up a little then so from there please let me on the fan so guys this actually is taking a long time well i expected it but i'm already getting so tired so i've eventually gathered every one of the um ruffle all my whole 10 yards are exhausted my 10 yards is it is or are 10 yards is exhausted and so far this is what i've been able to gather on the skirt pattern you can see on the bottom of the skirt and so far this is all I've been able to gather I'm sure by the time I've put this one it's not still going to get to the upper part so that's to tell like we actually want to make this design please buy as much as 40 to 50 yards of tool even much more than that depend on how full you want and you can see I was even spacing it spacing it like two inches spacing but still it's i'm sure it's not going to get to the upper part let's just work with what we have wherever it gets to we'll make do of what we have remember you always improvise okay so let me uh, ruffle everything up left and we'll wrap it up real soon guys i've been able to achieve all of this um see this place is not so full but you want to make it super full like what i have here on the others the others is quite full so my tool didn't get to the upper part of this so it didn't even fill up this part this is the front let me show you the back this is the back oh this is the front too see it here this is the front and this other place is the back so it didn't fill up all this part so what I'm going to be doing so what I'm going to be doing now is I have to cut off this other part we have to make this a midi length dress because the tool is not enough and I won't be able to get any tool anytime like right now to just complete this tutorial Okay, I'll have to go to Lagos market and you have to plan to go to that market. You can't just pick up your bag and run and say, oh, I need more tool. So this is what 10 yards will give you. So if you want to do like a midi length kind of gown, 10 yards is okay. But anything more, if you want the tail to be more, just be thinking of 40 to 50 yards, 60, 80, even more, depending on how full and how wide you want the skirts to be so what i'm going to be doing now is i'm going to be measuring and cutting off um a good chunk 
of this part I may not even measure I'll just cut off a good chunk of this part just let's say about I'll leave about one inch for sewing like you can see me doing here okay For this one I'll just use it for a lining. I'm telling what me I'll use it for for the midi skirt. So now um, let's look at this. Now I just cut I left about one inch round. So since this is really really wide, I'm going to gather this up with my let me use a needle and thread to gather up. So I'll just gather this up nice and neat. Just push the tool away as you're gathering. I'm using a contrasting thread so that I would know when I am going to be sewing it up. And once I'm trying to sew it up, after I'm done sewing it up, I'll just cut away the gathering because I used the contrasting thread. Alright guys, so I have gathered this. Now before I will give it a knot here to know where I'm going to stop, I'll first put this in my in the dress, like put it in the dress and know how how much wider I need to release or how much tighter I need to gather it for. Okay, so let me just put it in the dress first. Okay, so this is the back. Remember, it goes down more than the front. And this is the back of the dress. This is where the zipper is. So you have to match the back to the back. Okay, the side seams to the side seams. I'm trying to release it so that it matches up, okay? Yeah, so I think it's matching up now. I will not here. I will not this place. So I'll just flip it this way and match back to back along that um, midpoint there. Push the tool away so that you don't catch it while pinning. Pin the rest round. Okay, so this is what it's going to be looking like once we've sewn it. So let's quickly sew that up. Yeah, once you've sewn this up, you take your lining like this and just fix it in like so, so that it will hide. Just put your lining to hide the stitches. I'll show you how to do it once we sew it up. So let's sew up this gather and hide the stitching here. Then you whip it. So guys, I thought I should start from the inside so that you can see what you should have once you are done. Everything is beautiful. The lining uh, was used to turn it. So what I did was after sewing it up, I now placed the lining um, front side, facing front side of this upper part here. I used the front side of the lining to face the front side of the upper part here and sewed it round. So let me flip out so this is what the dress looks like outside it's really looking lovely i love how it looks yeah the back as well okay so the next time you'll be seeing me is me on this dress okay all right guys so that's the end of our tutorial guys if you did enjoy this tutorial please do not forget to give me a huge thumbs up also like 
subscribe if you are yet to comment drop a comment drop a comment okay tell me if you're going to be trying this out i would really love to read from you all till we see you in our next tutorial stay safe god bless you bye